How's it going everybody? I just wanted to do a quick mail call. Had a package come in the other day from Mr. Jeff Brewers. Thought I'd go ahead and open it up. And since it's kind of a small bag, I'm going to go ahead and pan it right away. I want this. Oh, I don't know. I want it right near the beginning of November, end of October. Came in around the 5th or 6th of this month. Um, let's cut this bad boy open and see what's in it as soon as I get me a pan. But we don't want that little piece of all this dirt. Never mind, dirt can stay. <laughs> it's sealed up so I can't just tear it open. Hopefully, I didn't cut anything important when I did that. I don't have to say no. Well, look, there's a bag in this bag. Anything else? No. Okay, that's just a bag. And here's another bag, and this says Monday Night Live. Joy Brown, 0.15. Okay, can we get this one to open? All right. Ooh, let's see what we got here. I already stuck my magnet to this bag, and it is thick with magnetics. I mean, I could have just picked up the whole bag with my magnet and carried it around. But that's perfectly fine. Okay, I'm just feeling it to make sure there's no grit in the bottom. I don't feel anything down there, so I'm All right, let's get back to that Jeff Brewer's pay dirt. Or Brewer's Prospecting pay dirt. My bad, Jeff. If I'm far enough, no, a little bit more, huh? I'll we'll take that. See what we can do with it. Feels so heavy. There must be some heavy black sands in here, and plenty of it. I'll be taking myself a trip to the dentist tomorrow. Bit down on a tortilla yesterday. Felt like my. Feel like I had the 4th of July going on inside my head. One of my teeth went nuts. That's not good. Come on out of there, Gold. Let's pick that rock up. Don't want it to slide and take anything with it. I think this is the first bag I've won from Jeff, so I don't really know what size gold to expect in here. We are going to find out. We 
Look at all that heavy stuff sitting up there. Hmm. Let me grab my glasses just to make sure I'm not passing some. And there goes that. Darn, that sure looks like gold right there. Okay. Let's take this stuff out of the pan. Looks like I might have some fine gold here to contend with. And fine gold is just as good as big gold. Because it's gold. <laughs> and I do ever so much like that shiny stuff. Look at it moving. Goodness gracious. Well look, there's a little piece of peridot. Oh, you see that? Okay. Man, that's fine gold. Oh boy. Let's get some of these rocks out of here. A chunk of mica. I don't know. That gold wants to move around. It's going to be a little more challenging than I expected. Well, I think I'm starting to see garnets now. I'm going to say those are definitely garnets. And my dog got out of my room and now he wants back in. So he's going to sit at the door and cry. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear him crying on the other side of that door or not but he is because he's a silly boy he wants out but he wants in and he don't know what he wants boy and last night or yesterday afternoon he got let out and I spent the next four and a half hours trying to round him up yeah from 5 30 to 10 o'clock at night i was super happy about it let me tell you because he's silly like that you know when if i take him over there and just let him run he's fine but if somebody lets him out, he thinks he just escaped or something, I don't know. But he, he seems to think he's in trouble. And he won't come back until he's just good and ready. And he doesn't get in trouble for it. And we do the same thing every time. If he gets let out, he acts like, oh, I better not come back, I'm in trouble. 
But I think a lot of that has to do with the people I got him from. He still sometimes ducks his head when you reach for him to pet him because they apparently smacked him about the head. I kind of hoped that after three years he would stop doing that, but he hasn't gotten over that. Whatever it was, I know what it was. They smacked him in the head. That's the only reason for him to duck when you reach at him. See that gold in there? Woo! Thank you, Jeff. I'm liking it. Bum 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 bum, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Wonder what this is. Just something dark. Poor Spanky. I hear you out there. He's such a goofy dog, sometimes he goes outside without me. And then when he comes back in, he acts all excited like I was the one that was gone or something. I'm like, uh, do you want outside without me, buddy? It doesn't matter to him which one of us is on the outside of the house. It's, he hasn't seen me in however long and he flips out. <laughs> Have a little bit more of that water. Yeah, I got Benzo Show running in the background. They're uh, picking turkey shoot people or putting names on turkey shoot bags and stuff like that. Is that a piece of walking gold or what? Nope, it is definitely a piece of walking mica. Look, here comes one of his friends now. Heading down the pan. Ooh, he's trying to take a little bitty piece with it, though. Y'all gotta leave all that gold behind. I'm sitting here talking to rocks. I guess that's no worse than talking to a camera, huh? It's starting to come clean. It's looking like some nice shiny stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, everybody. Still hiding in there, are you? You're coming out. Oh, that's starting to look much better. Oh no. I almost sent the sand right back in there. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Let's just get that last little bit.
Well, some of that black sand refuses to get off the edge of my pan. You got to go. Don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. I think I got it for the most part. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you, Jeff Brewer. That's a mighty nice uh, Brewer's Prospecting. <laughs> Sorry again. That's a mighty nice looking gold. And of course, I will go through that again here in just a minute and make sure I haven't missed anything. And then I will come back with it dried up and show you the way. I shall return. Alright, quick update. This is uh, what I found after I went back through the through the tailings. Looks like I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you see that teeny tiny little piece by my finger? My goodness, it's so small it probably don't show. I don't know. But yeah, seven little pieces. So let me go get all this dried up and I'll come back and weigh it. All right, we got it all dried up. You see it in there? My little scoop's still a little on the hot side. Oh, it's hard to see with the shine, but it's all right there. Let's get away it on it. Here comes the numbers. All right. Mine shows point one four zero. Of course, everybody's scale isn't exactly the same. When Jeff waited, it probably said point one five on his, but that's fine. We ain't gonna sweat those little numbers. Just gonna take it all and put it in this vial anyway. Right. Good stuff. Thank you, Brewers Prospecting. Right there, everybody. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. We're going to get this put in here. If y'all haven't had a chance to go check his channel out, I recommend you do so. And I will uh, put a link in the description. And thank you, everybody, for watching.